Okay. How'd you get Kidder to run the 600? How did I get him to run the 600? He's because he said in the beginning, we interviewed him at the beginning of the week, he said he wasn't running. Yeah. This week, so he ran the 600 PRs. I guess yeah. first time running, right? Yeah, this is the first time running. Okay. I mean, traditionally the workout that I do uh, as a tune up workout prior to the Big Ten includes a fast 600 in it. Okay. So I threw it out to Tom. I said, let's just race the 600 and come back and run the 4x4. Uh, you know, those are the two primary things in my tune-up workout for middle distance runners uh, that run the 800 prior to the conference meet that we do. And, you know, he's just very strong and aerobically fit and had a phenomenal run and, and runs the number one time in the conference. It was, was pretty exciting to see. Awesome, yeah. What do you think of Rachel? Was, it was, yeah, I mean, I know, Rachel right? just had one of those days when, when you're on, you're on. And she was on today, and, and Coach Evil's been saying for a while she has a, a you know a 70 foot weight thrower in her, and she has a, a 55 foot shot in her, and you know the way the the, the throwers train, they're they're in heavy cycles of lifting and, and uh, working hard, and when you come off those cycles, that's when you start to really feel good. And she felt really good today and got the job done. It was awesome for her to punch a ticket. The, the meet's called the Penn State Tune-Up because it, it's, it is what it is. It's a tune-up meet to go into the Big Ten Championship. We had some people just trying to improve their marks today, uh, so they, they are seated better at the conference meet. We had others that were running off events as part of a workout to prepare uh, for next weekend. And, uh, you know, it just it was a, a, a meet to come in. And as we talked about, it's low-key, low-stress. Just go out and have some fun and, and build some confidence going into the conference meet next weekend. Sure. So going into the Big Ten meet, I think both teams are in, in the best possible position that they can be. Uh, the men are ranked eighth in the country, which is the, the top t Big Ten team in the rankings. But uh, on paper, looking at the, the different uh, teams out there, Nebraska and Illinois are, are very tough right now and, and look to be in a great position as, as they go into the conference meet. So we've got a, a good fight on our hands. Uh, on the women's side, it's the same thing. Nebraska and Michigan State uh, look very strong on paper. And, you know, if we go in and, and have a great day, anything can happen. But uh, we're, we've got some injuries on the women's side that we're uh, coming off of. And, you know, we'll see. We'll go do our very best as the uh, three-time defending champions. All right. Perfect.